Hello everybody. Once again, I am here with you for the another session of the fourth unit that is communication electronics. We are looking for the paper number 15 that is digital communication electronics. Now uh, in this session, we will see tuned radio frequency receiver. Uh, this is somehow the receiving the first one uh, receiver which is to be used previously but nowadays uh, super heterodyne radio uh, receiver is going to be used but uh, this one is the first one basic tuned radio uh, frequency receiver and that's why it having some importance regarding that and let's see how this tuned radio frequency receiver works now if you look at this receiver that uh, definitely it contains uh, one receiving antenna that is to be there that is receiving antenna after that one there is the first rf that is radio frequency amplifier there is second radio frequency amplifier then afterwards there is a detector then uh, it is having the audio amplifier then it goes to the power amplifier and last t at the destination that is loudspeaker though this is what the trf that is the tuner radio frequency receiver is there so in the these are the nothing but the block diagram how it works <coughs> the signal is going to be work one another important factor regarding this block diagram that uh, this uh, uh, three uh, rf uh, uh, two rf amplifiers and detectors are connected with the gang tuning that is to be feedbacking again and uh, again for getting the filtering that signal in a pure form and that is somehow these are connected with the gang tune gang tuning so another part uh, regarding this is that uh, uh, when the signal is received at the receiving antenna then uh, actually the process is going to be start at the first stage when the operation is going to be concerned it is very important that uh, the transmission takes place in the medium of uh, in the medium wave form and uh, medium wave uh, band we can say and uh, <coughs> Another is uh, short uh, uh, band, uh, short wave band, and uh, basically the mid wave band is uh, having the frequency range 530 kilohertz to 1640 kilohertz, and uh, as far as the uh, short frequency range is going to be concerned, it is having nearly uh, at uh, uh, operation is uh, going to be there. In between this uh, lower one and uh, uh, this is what the uh, where the operation is going to be concerned regarding the mid band and the medium wave band and the shorter wave band at the as far as any station is concerned the operation is uh, particularly it operates at that particular frequency that means suppose the Parbhani band or the any Pune band is there it is uh, having one fixed frequency range and uh, if you tune that uh, receiver at particular uh, frequency range then the signal is going to be received and as far as the for an example if suppose Pune station is uh, we wants to operate then we have to tune it for the 800 kilohertz and uh, uh, the, op uh, the particular TRF receiver will receive these signals at that stage when it is tuned for the 800 kilohertz. So the as far as the operation of the TRF is concerned uh, due to electromagnetic waves of the passing over the receiving antennas uh, that signals are passing from our body also and the voltage in this uh, 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 induced in its antenna and that uh, induced a signal consisting of the uh, consists of the signals from the various transmitting stations so the particular uh, when it is going to be tuned antenna is tuned for that frequency range that frequency is going to be received or accepted by the circuitry and uh, the signal is completely uh, received by that receiver in, uh, trf <coughs> the rf amplifiers are tuned uh, simultaneously to select and uh, amplify the desired signal because our uh, observed signal is very weak and uh, received signal is weak and is, uh, uh, incre uh, it is uh, managed uh, the manager to uh, amplify that signal because of the lower uh, strength 
the you have to we have to increase the strength of the signal and that's why we uh, uh, select um, the amplifier amplifies that signals another part is by the rf amplifier is to reject the unwanted or the uh, uh, whenever desired signal is going to be accepted all other signals are rejected uh, while tuning that uh, uh, the uh, tuning that part, tuning for the particular frequency range manje ekada frequency range la suppose pune station la zar 800 la zar samja tune kela apla antenna kiwa receiver trf dar tar baki che je kai frequency range ahet tala reject karte ani fakt 800 la te select karte so in that way it works to be as an gang tuning means the simultaneous tuning of the tuned circuit uh, all the rf amplifier stages using as a gang capacitor as uh, uh, it was to be used for the capacitating the particular frequency range yanne sathi ha gang jo kai tuning ahe ti tyacha madhe use keli jay the amplified signal is then demodulated no doubt uh, whatever the observed signal it is in the modulated form and uh, due to that we have to demodulate it and demodulation of the detector does this work for uh, uh, bypassing the modulated signal and the carrier waves are there and after this detection signal is again uh, forwarded to the amplifier to add uh, to get the adequate power as the signal is low the uh, that particular amplification will uh, amplify uh, increase the strength of the signal and uh, the audio is going to be separated according to this uh, using this uh, amplifier at that stage these power amplifiers are then given to the loudspeaker at the last stage and uh, whatever the signal it is in the the process is going to be uh, forwarded and we can heard the whatever the modulated signal and whatever in the form of a sound waves operate uh, the operation of this uh, trf is going to be there so as the operation is uh, tuning uh, trf is working in this fashion there are some problems uh, regarding this trf and these problems uh, are the re reasons the why this trf is not going to be used in nowadays the first one is to be instability is there in this uh, trf another is variation in the bandwidth so whatever the observed signal is there while tuning it and uh, insufficient selectivity at uh, high frequency when there is a selection of the higher frequency band that time the selective uh, the selectivity is very poor and uh, rejection of the another channels is very poor and that's why it creates uh, some sort of um, insufficient selectivity part and due to that uh, these three are reasons are there why this uh, trf is not going to be used nowadays now as far as uh, instability is going to be concerned overall again of the rf amplifier status is very high and so a very small feedback signal uh, from its output to input uh, with the correct phase uh, positive feedback can be initiated oscillating in the rf amplifier as i told you that uh, the it uh, the rf first rf uh, amplifier second rf amplifier and demodulator both all these are connected with the ganged uh, capacitors uh, and in this case what is happening for purification of the signal it is again feedback to the first rf amplifier and in this process the whatever be the gain of the rf amplifier stages is very high and so a very small feedback is uh, uh, feedback signal is uh, forwarded uh, to the uh, from the output to the input is there as uh, if the gain is uh, 40000 then to take the a beta product i the required uh, required feedback is uh, uh, required feedback is uh, basically uh, uh, 1 by 40000 of the output and this feedback uh, takes place through the uh, string capacitance in the uh, a circuit the reactance of the c decreases at the higher frequency and uh, which results in the increase uh, increased feedback is there and uh, uh, this uh, possibility of the oscillatory behavior and therefore the instability will increase with the 
increasing uh, increased with the frequency that means to be increased of frequency at the output level it is again feedback to that uh, and that will cause to the uh, instability in the uh, RF amplifier and uh, due to that this uh, error is going to be increased in this uh, uh, TRF now variation in the bandwidth when the received signal is tuned uh, uh, when the receiver is tuned to the particular frequency range carrier frequency FC and the tuned circuit is uh, uh, expected to select the carrier and the sidebands of the desired signal that is was to be accepted that means it must uh, have uh, uh, adequate bandwidth when the TRF tuned to a fixed frequency the carrier frequency and the sidebands uh, select kar dasto ani for a tuned circuit it is uh, bandwidth is uh, nearly fr upon q uh, that is the resonant frequency fr and uh, <coughs> fc is the carrier frequency and q is the quality factor let us assume uh, that uh, this is for the equation number 1 assuming that the uh, bandwidth is supposed to be 10 k hertz suppose the chamadi zara apan consider kela ki 10 kilohertz hi bandwidth hai this will remain constant at the carrier uh, at uh, carrier frequency now uh, this will be as an uh, constant for the fc that is the carrier frequency and that's why fc is equal to uh, fr is uh, which is equal to whatever be the supposed to be 535 kilohertz the q of the tuned circuit is q also factor hai to jar samjha hecha madhe jar kadla the q is nothing but to be fc upon tumsa bw bandwidth and the chamber is a q quality uh, uh, q factor is uh, so it is giving us the value 30 53.5 is there and uh, this q is going to be uh, if uh, now uh, this is what the processing where this uh, uh, q of the tuned circuit is there but as suppose if uh, fr is equal to fc is nearly equal to higher frequency range that is 1640 kilohertz at the same bandwidth of uh, 10 kilohertz uh, upon bandwidth theodis ahe pan ata jo uh, resonant frequency ahe and it is carrier frequency ji kai ahe ti suppose 1640 kilohertz ahe tar tya case madhe q quality factor jo kai ahe to definitely 1640 divided by 10 that will give you 164 and that uh, 164 uh, uh, will be the whatever be the higher uh, the value of the q uh, practically uh, unobtainable due to the various losses that is what the case q 164 higher value and it is quite impossible to practically achieve this now due to various losses takes place at the high frequency and due to that this factor is not going to be achieved at the most we can obtain a q of 120 just upon 120 uh, Q is the same frequency achieve Now the corresponding uh, bandwidth will be definitely FR upon Q that will be 16 uh, uh, bandwidth in that case uh, FR upon Q that is 1640 divided by 120 maximum manje 13.7 kilohertz manje bandwidth nearly 13.7 kilohertz SL and required bandwidth is only 10 k hertz due to the increased bandwidth of the receiver uh, will pick up the adjacent uh, um, uh, channel along with the desired one manje ya case mule kya hote ata ya varun bandwidth cha ani yacha je relation apan kadto manje ki jasa ya case madhe sir bandwidth range range jar apan kadli tahi nearly ate 13.7 pan apan assume keli 10 kilohertz पण आता ऍक्च्युअली मध्ये इथे यायली ती 13.7 मग हे जी इंक्रीज इन द बँडविड्थ 3.7 आहे याच्यामुळे काय होते की जेव्हा आपण ट्यून करायलो त्या पर्टिक्युलर रेंजला दिट आल्सो कॅचेस द अदर सिग्नल्स अप टू द 13.7 मग त्याच्यामुळे काय होते की दी चॅनल बाकीचे पण सिलेक्ट करतो आणि आपल्याला एकाच वेळेस दोन दोन आवाज येतात दॅट विल हॅपन टू दिस केस वेअर इन दिस कम्युनिकेशन ऑर द टीआरएफ इज देयर and due to that these are the uh, bandwidth variation manje he je bandwidth madla apan 10 kilohertz pakadla pan nearly 13.7 ji range jayli tyamule other channel reject na hota te select hotat ani tyamule je kai received signal ahe ek cha vaji don don signal receive jhale tar aplyala uh, clear sound kiwa clear output at the loudspeaker la yet nahi 
Uh, similar way, the third uh, insufficient uh, insufficient selectivity. As it is the bandwidth is the higher frequency, uh, due to increase uh, bandwidth at the higher frequency, the ability of the TRF receiver to select the desired signal or reject all other uh, uh, other is uh, seriously affected. Me after just give one after some actors which are tapan je bagitla ki bandwidth selective ji ka hai ti na githa other je channels je reject karai jasta te reject karai la problem hai to anitya mune it is also loss of the selectivity and it is due to the these factors this there will be a loss in the selectivity and due to these problems of the instability and the poor adjacent uh, uh, channel rejection the trf receivers are not used and the super heterodyne receivers are going to be used these are the three factors which makes uh, trf un uh, effective and due to that this trf is going to be outdated and nowadays uh, the trf is not going to be used so this is how the trf is going to be working thank you for joining this session again be at home and be safe thank you